Welcome back, Mailbag Monday fans. We have stuff, we have beer. Let's get to it. The beer of the day is Half Pints Brewing Stir Stick Stout. Um, brewed in Winnipeg. 5.5, 5 5.6% 5 uh, alcohol, 135 uh, IBU. Coffee infused stout with a chocolate aroma. I agree. First thing off the pile today is finding. Hmm. I wonder what we'd be finding in here. A couple of things. Okay, what do we have? Are they the same? They are the same. Get out. It looks like. Ooh, looks like a little display module of some sort and there's two of them that are the same what do we have for the pins on this thing we have the pins are VCC ground SCL and SDA okay that should be pretty easy to drive let's see if we can figure out what these actually are I'm thinking are the LCDs or OLEDs hmm 0.96 inches OLED module blue color 128 by 64 LCD display I2C module DIY for Arduino new. I got it from Beauty Dash Jewelry 86 and they are still selling them. I got them at auction uh, for one was three dollars and two cents, one was three dollars and twelve cents. This seller is currently selling it for four eighty Canadian. But if you do a search, you can find it uh, for a little bit less. There's a few on auction right now, and uh, but you just um, copy or search for you know the 164. Well, there, there's my search right there. Uh, 0.96 inch, blah blah blah. Okay, so what do we know about these things? Uh, no, we knew that. Um, we knew that size and not much else. Three to five volts. Okay, that's important. And there it is. Let me just reset this from the, from scratch. Of course, it's got advertising on it because eh, why wouldn't it? Those vertical, those uh, horizontal black scrolling lines are just a camera artifact. That's not actually happening. Okay. No, it's still there. Yeah, that's just the refresh rate of this thing um, beat frequencying against the uh, screen rate of, uh, of my camera. But there it is. That's a slick little display. And it's actually quite bright. Even with the light on my bench here, it's pretty easy to see. That'll be cool. And where's the other one? I got two of them. Oh. Text is really easy to read too. Neat. Well, we're off to a good start so far. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Light bulb and light bulb. That's actually a very tough package. I am impressed. Oh, there's a bunch of wires and there's a bunch of wires. Rampo lighting again. Oh, neat. Why does it say there's two of them? That's another one of those EL wire things, isn't it? I wonder what color this one is. I'm assuming that it is a different color than the other one. Uh, the other one you remember I think was orange or red or something. And it was fairly weak. Um, I mean, once I turned off all the lights in here, you could see it pretty well. But with the lights on, it just kind of sucked. Um, does anybody remember what voltage that thing wanted into the input of the little power supply? I don't think it was that much, was it? Uh, I bet you the listing tells me. Okay, once again, I couldn't find the exact listing because this was months ago that I ordered this. Um, but this is the same seller, Sane Technology, and he's still selling the same stuff along with some others. Um, I bought mine at auction and I got it for $2.31 Canadian. And incidentally, it took five weeks to get here, which isn't bad. It's just been chilling in my inbox for a while. Um, so I'll, I'll link to this listing. Um, but these uh, seem 
EL glow wire and then the color and the meters and that should get you fairly close in a search. But the important thing that I wanted to get out of this and I don't remember what it was is that right there 12 volts. So let's go back to the bench and just see how this one lights up. Ready? That's as underwhelming as the other one was. Hang on, let me turn the lights out. Now let's see what it looks like. Well, that's a little bit better. Still not horrendously bright. Let's just pull that red one in here with it. And cast some shadows on there. Blue one's a bit more visible in subdued lighting. Let's cast, where's my shade? Cast a bit more of a shadow on it here. There. Ah. Blue one's a little bit more impressive than the red one, but neither of them are all that awesome. Thing number three, resistor. Pretty big for a resistor, don't you think? Well packaged though. I mean, as these things go, well packaged. That doesn't look like a resistor. That looks like a buck and or boost voltage converter. What's the part number on that thing? XL Semi. What is that? 6009E1. Okay, that shouldn't be that hard to find. So what have we got here? We've got... In capacitor, input capacitor, probably a diode, uh, inductor, the magic box, voltage adjustment, another diode coming out, another a little tiny inductor up there, uh, and a filtering capacitor, a um, little a couple of little capacitors, an itty bitty couple of resistors. Not that much to it. Obviously, this guy is doing the heavy lifting. Sorry. This guy is doing the heavy lifting. Let's go see what exactly it is and how much I paid. Finally, one that I could find the actual listing for. One piece XL6009 DC to DC boost converter step up adjustable 15 watts, 5 to 30 volts in to 5 to 50 volts out. Oh, hey, I can power up some of this 48 volt telecom stuff that I find lying around. That'll be nice. Assuming it draws, you know, less than 15 watts. Uh, from Galaxy Electronics 2015, it was 223 Canadian with free shipping, or dollar 69 for those of you playing around along down in the sites. What have we got down here for parameters? Input, yeah, we knew that. Ooh, two and a half amps out uh, with a four amp input current. Okay. If I throw a heat sink onto it, I can get 25 watts, it says. Uh, what else is there in here? Um, Built-in MOSFET, dimensions, whatever, 400 kilohertz switching frequency. Okay. The next thing, let's get into this big guy here. Oh, it's a plastic sheet. I haven't had a plastic sheet in a couple of weeks. Lots and lots of bubble pack. Wow. It's a kit. That's even better than a plastic sheet. It's kind of all taped together here, but we'll get in there. Don't need that. Comes with a box with a battery compartment that takes like two double A's. Okay, that's slick. You got the hardware for the battery compartment. Got a circuit board with a really limited component count. And we got some instructions in what language? Any bets? Any bets? Yes, it's Chinese. But it has enough going on that in English that it's not a big deal. So we've got three transistors, a couple of inductors, some resistors, a speaker, and some batteries. Hmm. Some kind of oscillation going on with these two LC circuits. 
that's an amplifier for the speaker didn't see the inductors okay so there's all the components out and I found the inductor these two inductors here there's one of them etched onto that side of the board and there it looks like the other one etched onto this side of the board Ooh, that's a funky effect getting the reflections off my lights so it looks like we come in to this inductor here spin the whole distance around goes through that via there spin the whole distance around and there's two ends come off here so one inductor is wrapped inside the other one and they do have a common connection right there I think that's a metal detector I think so hang on let's go to the listing and see if we can find it metal detector kit electronic kit dc three to five volts non con non non contact sensor diy kit from gc supermarket bought lots of stuff from them in the past free shipping i actually did pay two dollars and 39 cents but i ordered and received the diy kit plus case so it seems that hmm either they've changed their prices or maybe i did order just the blue one and they threw in the case just because they're nice guys i don't know on the same listing they also sell this one and i've already received one of those in a previous mailbag and i'll show you when i go back to the workbench actually but it's the green one is a little bit cheaper Okay, so here's the blue one uh, laid out from before. Here's the green one that I got previously from a different listing, a different seller, but it was equally cheap. But just looking at the components on the board and looking at uh, what I've got here in that schematic, I've got three transistors, a 9012, a 9018, and another 9012. Here we've got three transistors and 9012 and 9015 and 9018 so they're slightly different but there's what three capacitors four capacitors this one has looks like five capacitors oh no this one's got a c6 okay so they're very very similar slight component differences but and uh, of course the coils are wound slightly different but they have that same configuration it goes in this side through a via out that way and then there's one comes off there and the other one comes off there so they're very very similar both are fr4 boards the blue one's a little bit thicker than the green one hmm what do you figure should i do a dueling kit builds one of these days build them both up and just test them and see if either of them work that could be fun and number five the last thing of the day it is electronic load that sounds promising oh in a nice little plastic box hey it's one of those usb testers it's Rui ding i've heard of that brand before and, and wow this is this is like a full retail package it's it's excessive but it's awesome so what do we got here we have wow us standard usb a um micro and is that a c really There's my USB-C adapter. That is a USB-C. Oh, cool. So I can test any kind of USB source on this one. Where's a... Yeah, there's a micro. Nice. And of course, this one we're all familiar. Wowzers. And it's got a bunch of different mo and it's what uh obviously the level of loading 
that oh wow that button's labeled qc2 and afc fcp qc3 those are the various smart quick charge protocols so i can also test and make sure that uh, uh power supplies that say they support these quick charge features actually do RD HD 25-35 uh, I got the RD the HD 25 electronic load QC3 MTK PE trigger voltage current capacity tester I bought it from yen better um, currently it's selling for 1303 Canadian or 1369 Australian hello my Commonwealth brothers down under uh, I actually paid where is it uh, 1225 Canadian for this so it snuck up a little bit but not too much and some instructions down here so yeah this is a 2 amp micro okay so that one doesn't support the trigger mode uh, trigger being uh, to enable these quick charge modes but the this USB A mail and the USB-C presumably do because they don't say they don't I'm hoping this is a good one because this is a lot more than I normally pay for stuff on on eBay I took a bit of a risk shelling out you know 12 bucks I'm gonna read through this anyway and uh, if you want to read through it just follow the link uh, that I'm going to provide down in the description down in the comments like I always do Okay, I've just gathered a couple of things that I've got kicking around here just to play with. Um, I've got a 1 amp uh, charger here that I normally charge this phone from when I'm shooting. But i got something else plugged into it right now. So it's drawing 0.91 amps right now. I can adjust that down and I can adjust that up. And it's at 4.3 P, 5.1 volts, 0.85 amps, okay. Oh, 4.3 watts, is that what that means? Anyway, we'll show the volts. I'll turn the power up until it starts. It's dropped off to 5.0 volts. And I'm drawing 1.06 amps, so oh, that's pretty good. And 5.3 watts, I guess. So let's crank that up a little bit more. Okay, so it's cratered. It's at 4.3 volts, 4.4 volts, 1.13 amps. Well, that's pretty slick. Put some fingers on the back here. Yeah, it's not even really warm. Okay. Here's one of those good anchor cables that I got in a mailbag couple back. Let's plug that into there and this into here. So it's still set for one amp. Okay. 4.9 to 5 volts. So that's pretty much negligible loss. Hmm. I'm going to try another experiment here. Okay. So I got just my cheesiest, cheapest charger doctor plugged in here. I've got an extension on there. Uh, so I'll plug that extension in here. And so with this guy flashing, this one's showing it's drawing negligible current. When I hit OK here, this goes solid. Now this one shows that it's drawing the full amp, and this one shows it's drawing the full amp. Okay, so the OK button acts as a power on off when it's flashing. And that goes through the different steps there. Okay. Neat. And so what's my accuracy? This thing is showing exactly one volt, or one amp, sorry. And that one is showing 1.05. That's actually not bad for this cheesy little guy here. Let's try something else. Let's try it on my bench supply, which is just a, a buck converter coming off a, a power brick from a laptop. So I've got my USB connector there. That's off right now. We've got it set to 5 volts and current limiting at 2 amps. And that would be easier to see if we were closer. So I'll turn that on. 
So right now this thing's drawing nothing. I'll turn it on. This is showing 1 amp. This is showing 0.998. That's pretty impressive. Okay. So I'll go into the amp mode there. Now let's see if I can adjust both of the, or adjust this. Uh, the power supply should go into current limiting at 2 amps. That's what I've got it set for. Five three one five three eight one five two three over there. Sneaking up on it. There, we've gone into constant current mode here. And now that we've hit two amps, my cooling fans come on. So what are we showing here? Nine point one watts and four point five volts because it's current limited and that's exactly what's happened over there noise let's just bring this down a little bit so now we're not in current limiting mode anymore we're at 4.8 volts there 4.9 volts there or 1.9 is that 1.98 amps 1.987 amps that's pretty good that is going to come in so much handier and so handy and it's going to be better than using one of these cheap things with one of these cheap things although it works but you've only got one amp and two amp you don't have you know, anything else and it's certainly going to be better than my hack together uh one amp load is that a one amp load that i i think that i created for for my testing now i would show you it with uh, a quick charge charger but I can't lay my hands on one right now. I may have some at work, but I know I've got some coming sometime in the future. Well, that's a lot better than the last mailbag. There's nothing really disappointing in here. And this, LE, this EL wire is actually better than the last one, even though it's not super bright. Um, let's just quickly go through this. The EL wire took five weeks to get here, because I know you guys like to hear, the, hear how long it took. That took five weeks to get here. These OLED displays took six weeks to get here. The DC to DC converter took two months. Right. This guy is the champion, though. The load, USB load tester took a whole 26 days to get here to the middle of Canada from China. And at the opposite end of the scale, we have the metal detector kit, which took three months and two weeks. Three and a half months. That's just, in my observation, that's the normal kind of variability you get when you're ordering stuff directly from China. It really could be anything. I don't know if it's China Post. I don't know if it's Canada Post. I don't know if it's the slow boat in between them. I don't know if it's the Canada Customs and Immigration slash Border Patrol slash, you know, scanning for drugs and dead prostitutes coming in in the mail. I don't know. It's maybe a combination of those things. Anyway, you just can't get stressed when something takes that long to get here. It does eventually get here. I think I've only ever had, out of, what, two, three years of doing this, I've only had a couple of things not actually show up. So that's pretty good odds. Anyway, that's mailbag for this week. Um, thanks again for watching. If you've got any questions or comments about any of this stuff, please absolutely leave a comment down below. To my loyal and, uh, and generous Patreon patrons, thank or sponsors, thank you very much for your ongoing support and donations. Anyone else that feels like throwing a buck in the tip jar, Click on the Patreon link down below or coming up in a few seconds here. Thanks to everybody for watching. I will talk to you later.